morning, everyone. Um, you know, there's some magic that goes on at Christmas, and so uh, we have a little time continuum thing going on, and we are skipping ahead to Christmas Eve. We are welcoming you all to the Knickerbocker family Christmas, their Christmas Eve. We're so glad to have you here as our guest. If you feel like you'd sing, like to sing along, the words will be on the screen. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. You kids. When I was little, we didn't have all these televisions and computers and cell phone thingies. We had radio to listen to, and books like this, and the Bible to read. You know, I really like Santa, but you do understand that Christmas is more than that. Yes, kids, Grandpa is right. I know you've been learning this in Sunday school, but I want to show you the real Christmas story with you, just like Grandpa did with me and your Uncle Patrick when we were little, little every Christmas Eve. Oh, honey, that would be just wonderful. Here's your Bible. Luke chapter 2. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And this was the first census that took place while Canarius was still governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them.
Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those who, on whom his favor is. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And, who, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Wow. 
But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. 